Lisa, can you see my screen? Yep, yeah, we've got it. Awesome. Um, all right. So do you want to start off uh, with your decks? Sure. And just a little bit of context. Um, the one sheet that we sent over to you guys, that will really um, be your go-to. So that should have all your talking points, all the basic info you need, and it should um, allow you to answer any questions people might have. Um, and let you talk about the brand a little more. The deck is really, um, it's, as if you haven't looked through it before, it's pretty in-depth, um, and it goes into quite a bit, but we figured it was best to send that along so you guys can watch the videos and get a feel for what our programming looks like, just so you know um, a little better. But in terms of what you'll be like expected to know, and how you'll be able to speak to the brand, I think the one sheet, um, the one sheet will get you covered. Perfect. Um, so I have that up right now. Um, would you guys like me to uh, give you the presenting capabilities? Um, yes. Sure. Uh, yeah. sure. Okay, awesome. So um, just make sure you have the decks open on your end, and then I'm going to go ahead and change the presenter over to you, um, McKenna. Okay. Let me get out of everything. All right. Let me know when you guys can see me. Let's see this. Okay. Perfect. Are we good? All right, let me get yeah. out of this. Okay. Okay, so pivot who we are. So we're a new television network that launched August first by participant media. And pivot really targets uh, Generation Y, or a group we like to call Millennials, and it's just a general entertainment network with a mix of original series, acquired series, and then films and documentaries. So what makes Pivot different is that all of our content focuses on, first, entertaining, but secondly, sparking conversation that can inspire social change. So participant media, um, which was founded 10 years ago, has put out movies like Lincoln and The Help and The Cove and Inconvenient Truth. And all of their movies um, cover socially relevant talkers, socially relevant aspects that aren't so in your face like do good or movies, but they make you think about things differently. That's a bit too. So we come up with tons of nonprofits. Um, we have a digital arm called TakePart.com that if you watch our programs, you can go back to the site and it'll show you petitions you can sign. It'll get you together with groups in your area that um, might want to support as you do. So that's a little about us and kind of where we come from and our mission. And then a little more in depth. So we launched August 1st. We're currently available in 45 million homes. In the LA market, we are available on Dish, Direct, AT&T, Verizon. Carter, and the postcards that you guys will be giving out will have um, that information along with the channel numbers there. We are not available on Time Warner or Comcast. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of a selection of some of our programming and our movies. We Our acquired series, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Veronica Mars, Friday Night Lights. In terms of movies, we have like Blood Diamond, Syriana, Good Night and Good Luck, all the ones you see listed there. And then there's our originals. And for originals, I will you to the deck. Is there a way you can maximize your screen? Yep. Yeah. So here's awesome. some of our programming, and this is the sizzle for our network. Let's just do some quick I'm not sure we're getting the audio on this. Oh, no audio? All right, well, that makes that pretty pointless then. <laughs> it was going in and out a little. Okay, so I'll just um, walk you through some of them. 
So, Hair Record on TV is one of our new original shows with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. A while back, Joseph Gordon-Levitt started an online production company called Hit Record on TV. And on that site, people could go and say you're a musician and you wrote some music. You would upload your music to the site and then maybe an artist from another part of the country would animate it for you. Maybe a screenwriter from a different part of the country would turn it into a little short film. So it's like an online collaborative production company. And what our TV show did was take all those aspects of Hit Record and bring it to TV. So um, when you guys can get down, the next slide is a video that walks you through um, how he does that and what some of the stuff kind of looks at. And it's much easier to get a feel for what it is just watching that than it is to explain it. Um, so if you guys want to watch that when you can, get audio you on your own computer, that is a video feel for what that is. by community of hundreds of thousands of artists. And then next we have Take Part Live, which is a nightly live news show that we do. Um, it's relaunching May 12th with Megan McCain, Jacob Sorov, and Eddie Wong. So obviously Megan McCain is the daughter of Senator John McCain, um, and she's just now joining the show as a host. And Eddie Wong is this, um, he's technically an attorney, but he's also a chef. He owns a restaurant here in New York. He's also got a show with Vice, and he's a published author. And he's kind of just like, it's a group of young millennials that are taking the headlines straight from social media. So they're covering the topics that young people really care about in the news. We've also got the Peabody Award airing on TV for the first time um, this summer on Pivot. And a partnership with Univision. So we recently acquired Caesar's Last Fast in a film called Marmato at Sundance. And they'll be airing both on Pivot um, and on Univision. Next we have Please Like Me, uh, which is one of our original comedies. We produced this um, with an Australian comedian called Josh Thomas. And it's essentially a show about his life um, when he kind of realizes he's gay and then comes out and his world kind of gets uh, a little. But he is, he got him awkwardly going through his life and trying to work things out. And it's gotten a ton of great press. Last year it was named one of the top 10 TV shows of 2013 by Time and Entertainment Weekly, The New Yorker, The LA Times, and The Tribune. The Resources, which is a show um, based on a company that's called TerraCycle. And they operate in 20 countries. They've been hired by companies like P&G and Nike and Pepsi to take the company's waste, so they're trash essentially, and turn it into a new usable product. So they'll take empty Capri Sun pouches and turn them into purses and then sell those online. Yeah. Is this on? What's this and there's like? a video yeah. there too Wait, if you guys want to get a better feel for that. This is our and then Welcome to Fairfax. The show is about um, a group called the Chill Black Guys in the Fairfax area of Los Angeles, um, and also about a guy named Mizzle, who owns a clothing company. And then it's also about his girlfriend, Felicia, who's kind of an aspiring makeup artist. So it's essentially about these three young millennials who are out there trying to start their own businesses um, without any help or anyone to lean on. So. Um, it's just about what it's like to be a young person out on your own trying to start uh, your own business and make it in one of the tougher areas. And then we have Fortitude, which is almost impossible to explain without you seeing it. It's our new um, scripted series starring Stanley Tucci. Essentially, Fortitude is this research-based community in Iceland. Um, and they're going through this transitional phase where they're deciding if they want to open up their community to tourists. So we're calling it an eco-thriller. <laughs> but essentially, a group of scientists moves into the town, and then some kind of really dark murders take place, and Stanley Tucci is called in to investigate. So when you guys um, get a minute and can watch this clip with audio, it's a great um, little introduction into the show and what that's kind of all about. And then this is just a slide covering our acquisitions um, that I spoke to earlier, like Buffy and Friday Night Lights, as well as some of our movies. 
And then this is the digital arm of our network where you can go and and just kind of take the social action that's to show right. And that's kind of it. Like I said, this is all kind of laid out in the one sheet. Um, the main purpose of the deck is, sadly, the videos, which you aren't able to hear. But if you guys get time um, and have this deck on your own computer, it would be great if you could watch those videos to get a better feel for the program. Hello? Hello? Hi, we can hear you. Oh, sorry, okay. So McKenna was just like McKenna was just saying that really you guys should use the one sheet as your go-to piece about the network, but you know, just top lining it, it is a um, you know a network that is geared towards the millennial generation. But the thing, like she said, that really sets us apart from other networks that may target the same demo is every single piece of programming we produce has a socially active relevancy to it. And so part of that, like she said, is by our programming would drive people back to takepart.com where they can go and there's multiple opportunities for them to act around a particular issue, whether it's going and signing a petition or if it's going to, say, a rally or if there's a way to donate time. That's most, but really what we're all about is telling a story and telling a story in a way that inspires social change. So I think those are kind of really the key points to remember about the network. Do you guys have any questions so far? Uh, no. <laughs> no, not for me. Okay, but I like uh, as McKenna said, the deck really I think a great way for you to, you to really immerse yourself in what our programming's like is if you're able to to go and watch the videos in the deck because they'll definitely give you a better sense of what the programming is all about. Yeah, perfect. So guys, make sure you take some time to to watch those videos so you know you can get all that excitement from all this awesome programming and bring that out into the field with you next week. Um, okay. What we have to do is just uh, click on the pictures on the deck to the left and then we'll play? Yeah. Correct. Okay. PowerPoint presentation. So if you go through, um, click them, hit play. And they should go. Awesome. Um, okay, did you guys want to go through anything in that deck, or uh, do you want to kind of just have... For you guys, is just the programming. Um, exactly, knowing what the program, the different programming we offer, and then like we said, you know, really, if you get the chance to talk to anyone, telling them that we're a millennial um, targeted network, general entertainment, but all containing a social message. And what, that's great. What other, what other channel besides Time, or what other, what other cable provider besides Time Warner, Warner isn't it going to be on? I'll guess, right? Um, in the area, it's just Comcast and Time Warner that we're not on. Okay. Is there the ability for the people that do have Tom, uh, Comcast and Time Warner, can they watch it, watch programming online? Yeah, hit record on TV as well as Please Like Me. Um, is available on iTunes and Amazon, and then Take Part Live is available as you go to pivot.tv um, and hit Take Part. We upload the nightly segments to YouTube, um, and I think that's it for now. Perfect. Um, did you guys want to talk a little bit about who um, who they should be targeting when they're out there handing out the postcards and skating around? What type of person? I mean, the main, obviously, the main reason we're going out there is for an industry event. So there may be a lot of um, cable people walking around. You'll kind of be able to tell who they are because most of them will probably be wearing a badge around their neck that says NCTA. So we definitely do see them. They are an important client for us because they help us drive our distribution for the channel. 
Mm -hmm. um, but on top of that, we're also a fairly new network, as McKenna said, having just launched last August, so we're still trying to build awareness. So any consumers that you can interact with are equally important to us at this point to help raise our awareness out there in the marketplace. Um, so it's kind of, um, you know, a mix. If you see, like I said, if you can target the uh, show attend, the NCTA show attendees, that's great for us because all those people will be heading into the LA Convention Center to probably meet with us at some point. So they're very important to us. But then again, just from a general brand awareness standpoint, consumers in general, getting out there, letting them see you and your pivot branded, you know, gear and stuff, and making sure to hand out the postcards is very important as well. Okay, Pam. Perfect. And then in terms of the, um, the food truck team, uh, they will be specifically monitoring um, the attendees that approach the food truck. Um, would you like them to actively ask for badges? Um, if, if, the, if you know, somebody happens to not be wearing it and it's not visible uh, to them? You know, we were talking about this a little because, you know, I think it's going to be a little hard um, as I think you're going to probably get a mix of people in that area between consumers and event attendees. So definitely mm -hmm. with the event attendees, you can ask for a, you know, a badge to see. Um, we were kind of kicking around the idea for other people. We say we had consumers who came up if they were willing to do some sort of activity, pivot-based activity, that we might open up the service to them as well. So it, maybe it's going to our Facebook and liking us on Facebook. Or mm. if they don't have pivot, maybe it's tweeting a note to their um, cable provider requesting pivot. So if there's a certain activity attached to it that's pivot based that we could do, um, we were thinking maybe that would help us kind of open it up to more people. That's a great idea. Um, so yeah, definitely. So uh, Brittany, uh, you're on the line. So definitely take note of that. If there is somebody, obviously, you know, it's going to be very uh, desirable for people because we are giving away free food. So if, if you do get people that do not have convention show badges and are not, con uh, you know, at the convention, um, see if you can, you know, convince them to like pivot on Facebook or um, tweet a note to their cable provider if they're on Time Warner or Comcast. Get them socially involved um, with that aspect so that they can then uh, get their free meal. Yeah, I think that's an awesome tactic to use. And for Twitter, it's just like we just, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go, that's okay. Um, would they go to the front of the line and have to like show um, proof, like this is what I posted, and then they get their food? Exactly, exactly. Okay. Does Twitter work? Can you just yeah. say uh, yeah, follow you on Twitter? It's the hashtag get pivot, right? Yeah, and I, if they already get pivot, then they can just follow us on Twitter. Instagram is fine too. Facebook is good. Whatever, from, because for us, really, the way to get our affiliates' attention, and when we talk about affiliates, we mean the Time Warners, the Comcast, the Dish and Direct. The way for us to make a big buzz with them is on their social platforms, because they all have dedicated social teams in their companies that are monitoring these types of activity. So anything we can get them to do on those platforms is extremely helpful to us. Okay, cool. And we awesome. can send you guys, I'll send you guys all of our, like, I'll send you our Facebook page, and, as well as our Twitter handle and our Instagram handle, um, and then our channel finder as well. What are the Perfect. badges again that you're looking out for? N NCTS? NCTA? Right. right, it's the National, um, oh my gosh, I just National, National Cable, Cable and Telecommunications Association, and they are the principal trade association for the cable industry. So every year they host this large trade show that attracts about 10,000 people into whatever city they're hosting it at. Um, so and it's these a great are the people we're for? I'm sorry, say again? Okay, then these are the people we want to approach? Yeah, those are the people. When we're talking about, you'll be able to usually tell because they'll be wearing a badge around their neck on a lanyard that'll say NCTA. So, and most of, most of these people will not be millennials. No, it's going to be a bunch of like kind of, kind of fat old guys. 
<laughs> so, I'm but unfortunately, <laughs> exactly. But they are very influential in our business. There are a lot of them are the key decision makers as to who, which networks get carried on their channel lineup. So, while they're not millennials themselves, they're very important to our business. But again, on the flip side of that, just raising awareness among consumers and getting eyeballs to the network is equally important to us. So that's why we love for you guys to not only kind of target that particular set that's attending NCTA, but also consumers in general. I mean, go out and get everyone. We don't care. <laughs> Young or old, we'll take them. <laughs> I was picturing old guys at the show, so that's how I was asking. Do you guys have, I guess, any other questions? Erin, I think one thing you wanted to chat about was any photos or anything that we want to share? Yeah. Um, what I would like to do, if possible, is for you to kind of just uh, – give some direction to our leads in terms of what kind of photos you're looking for and then if they should be sending, texting them to you, emailing to them to you in real time so that they can be shared on your social platforms. Mm. Yes, absolutely. I, I just got a note from our consumer marketing group today and we are launching a page on Tumblr with some key millennial research. Um, okay. And so as part of that, she asked if as soon as you guys can start sending any kind of real-time photos so that they can upload it to the Tumblr page. Okay. And so would we send that just directly to yourself and McKenna? Yeah, if you could email that to me, that would be great. Okay, perfect. And we'll make sure that you have uh, the skateboard leads phone number uh, and contact info because um, obviously, you know, they're going to be changing locations. Um, so if at any point you want to meet up with them, um, we'll make sure that you have a way of connecting with them to get their exact location. That's great. I mean, uh, exactly. And also, you know, McKenna and I maybe on Tuesday morning will come and regroup with you guys and just see how things are going if we can. Um, Next week is quite a busy week, lots of meetings and stuff, but we will definitely try to kind of make it down there initially just to check in with you guys, see if you have any additional questions, et cetera. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change the presenter back to myself and kind of go over some logistical items, if that's okay with you. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, let me get out of this. Awesome. All righty. So um, we're just kind of going to go through some general information. And I did send this out to everybody, um, but I want to kind of review it here. Um, you know, as, as Melissa McKenna said, we'll, we're going to be targeting key hotel areas and traffic patterns uh, towards the convention center. Um, I did send you guys a uh, location map. Um, now, this is a guide uh, for you to use, and obviously, you know, adjustments can be made to this on site as you see traffic flowing. Um, you know, we do want to target people that are on their way to the convention, um, so if you do happen to see those people, make sure you, um, you know, skate over to them and, and hand out the postcards and interact with them. Um, relay all the great messaging that's included in those decks. Um, and then, like they said, also, you know, we're targeting, you know, anybody and everybody, basically. Um, but, you know, specifically uh, those convention attendees as well. Um, the food truck team, um, you guys just make sure you're really comfortable with the brand messaging. Um, you know, make sure you're monitoring that food distribution and getting people to interact on social media if they're not convention attendees. Um, there is a limit of 100 meals. Um, now, what we discussed, and Melissa McKenna, feel free to jump in here, if, if you know, we do run out of those meals before the end of the shift, we would like the, the brand ambassadors to continue interacting with consumers and, and handing out the postcards. Um, is, that, is that okay with you? Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome, perfect. And then I'll just ask your the food truck people just to kind of give me a heads up, um, connect with the uh, the guys in the food truck, and have them let you know when they are, you know, I guess 
at 90 meals um, so that you can start informing people you know that unfortunately uh, you know the meals have been given away but you know always remain positive proactive and, and get those postcards out there and get that messaging out there uh, if, if we do run out of the meals um, yeah, any questions on that sorry this is Melissa I actually have a question is mm -hmm. the hundred limit because that's all the food truck can accommodate uh, I believe that was set, um, you know, f for the budget, not in terms of their being able to accommodate. I'm sure they can accommodate more than that. Because I think if we can, we want it to run. I think the, the 100 was geared towards when we had the food truck outside of Varnish on Tuesday night, knowing that there were only, Varnish is so small, and there were only 60 people. Mm -hmm. uh, can we up that and then you just invoice us for whatever the change in meals is? Yeah, um, how, how many additional meals would you like total? Maybe, maybe 200 only because I think if you're going to be there from 8 to 4, yeah. that's a long time. And I, and I also, I don't know if the food truck can give you any gauge either in terms of how much they serve in a day for the hours they work within. Maybe they could give us a kind of a range to work within. Yeah, but I feel we'll connect with them today and, and talk about that. Now you said 8 to 4. Originally we had the times from 8 to 3. Did you want to extend that to 4? No, 8 to 3 is fine. I thought we had originally talked okay. about 8 to 4. Okay, but 8 to 3 is fine, but I, I think I would hate for us to put all this effort into the food truck and then to run out of meal. Run out, have to exactly. Out. So we're happy okay. to pay all fees associated with getting more meals, um, but okay. any like details you can get from the vendor itself to see maybe what arranges that we should shoot for for those hours would be great. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, connect with them uh, as soon as we get off this call, and then uh, update you. Great. Thank you. No problem. Um, any uh, any other questions on the general event goals? And responsibilities. Um, All right. Covered it pretty well. Uh, so, I have a question one thing that are we gonna wear helmets? Say that. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've got helmets for you, and we pulled the sizes off of your applications, um, and the team lead will have those for you on site when you check in. Um, uh, I do want you, you to to remind you guys to return all of your materials when you sign out each day. Um, and then obviously, again, at the end of the event on Wednesday, just return all of your uh, provided materials to your team lead. Um, the team lead is instructed not to sign you out until he does have all of your, uh, the helmet, the pads, the skateboard, um, t-shirts. Uh, Melissa and McKenna, can they keep the t-shirts? I think so, yeah. We're, we're fine okay. with that. Perfect. Um, all right, so safety, definitely super important. We don't want anybody to get hurt. We don't want any members of the general public to get hurt. Um, this is a fun, lighthearted event, and we want to keep it that way. Um, we don't want you guys doing any crazy tricks on your boards. Um, just please keep that in mind. You all are the skateboard team. I'm not talking about the food truck team, but the skateboard team, you're all really used to riding boards and really comfortable on them, which is why we selected you for this event. Um, but just please keep safety in mind. Um, and we did send you those liability waivers. Um, so if you could take the time today or this weekend to print those out, read them over, sign them. Uh, and then email uh, me a copy of the signed form uh, no later than Monday at noon. Um, you can take a photo of the signed form. Just make sure it's a clear photo and email that to me. Uh, any questions on uh, the liability and the safety items? No. Perfect. I have one question about the timing. Mm-hmm. We had uh, 8 to 4 on uh, the papers you sent us yesterday, and uh, initially, is that now changed to 3? No, that's just for the food truck team. Uh, skateboarders the, are still 8 okay. to 4, yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Any other questions? Will there be a meal provided for us? Um, no, but you will have a break. Um, so if you want to, uh, you know, bring a granola bar or uh, a lunch, um, you're going to have to go back to your car to get it because you're going to be using the messenger bags for postcards. Um, but you guys will be uh, allotted a break, and we plotted those break times out on the staff list, and the team lead will facilitate those. Um, again, those are just to be used as a guide. So if it's super busy at a certain point, um, we'll ask the team lead to kind of adjust as necessary and maybe um, change change the break times a little bit, just kind of based on the flow uh, when you guys are on site. Hey, Aaron. Sorry, mm -hmm. Aaron. Wednesday, yes. we were, and I were just talking. We have no problem with the team going to the food truck and getting food because we think it might be, you know, it would be kind of cool if you saw a bunch of, like, skateboarders come up, maybe waiting at the truck. It might, you know, pique people's interest to come over too and see what was going on. So, Okay. All right. If you guys are cool with that, and since we are going to increase the meals, then, yeah, you guys on Wednesday, um, we'll let you know where the food truck is going to be parked. Um, so you can take a ride over there and, and, and grab a meal. And do we have a specific location for the food truck? We are getting on a call with them um, either later today or first thing on Monday. Um, we are obviously, we're permitted, but it kind of, we might not know the exact location until the morning of. Um, it kind of just basically depends on the parking spaces that they can find. Um, but we'll we'll talk through those logistics with them uh, when we when we speak with them later today, okay, and make sure everybody's on the same page. Yeah, you know, because our target area obviously is LA Live, but anywhere close right. to like. W Marriott or the convention, wherever kind of the prime traffic paths are, that would be great. Okay. Perfect. What about work? I mean, I know you guys are giving us a t-shirt. I mean, does anything matter um, pants-wise, like shorts or? Uh... No, nope. whatever you want. Okay. Okay. Yeah, make sure you guys are comfortable. Um, Obviously, we want you to be comfy. You're, you're going to be on the board, so um, be comfortable, but presentable, obviously. Um, so as you all know, this is a guerrilla style execution. Um, and you know, attack does these sort of executions all the time. We're used to that guerrilla aspect, um, you know, where there's no permits. Um, and you know, that's one of the things that our teams do best. Um, you know, with this one, there is the added element of the skateboarding um, and LA Live and, and, and the convention center. Um, it's just we have to stay off the convention center property. Um, that's definitely a no-no. So we're going to target the streets around the convention center, but please do not go on the convention center property. Um, if you are, if the team is approached by security or police, um, please be very polite to them, um, and you know, just stop skating, hold your boards, uh, and just continue to activate as a regular BA. Um, you know, however, you still may be asked to leave, and I'll just ask you guys uh, and the team lead just to you know keep me updated. Um, and Melissa and McKenna, I'll make sure that you guys are updated as well um, if anything like this uh, should happen. Great. Okay. Okay. Um, so when and where, uh, just make sure you arrive 10 to 15 minutes early. Um, we do have two pocket shifts on the skateboard team. Um, if somebody is late, you will be replaced with the pocket shift. Um, so prompt, be prompt. Um, make sure you're there with your team lead and everybody's ready to go at 8 a.m. sharp. Um, we have you meeting at the 7th Street Metro Center. Um, this is a little bit outside of the convention center area, but we wanted to kind of get everybody situated uh, and not to call too much attention to ourselves when we're getting situated. Um, so meet at the 7th Street Metro Center. Make sure you have your team lead's phone number in your phone so you can um, meet him, know exactly where he is located. Um, 
and we'll be checking in with the team lead just to make sure everybody's there, accounted for, on time, and ready to go. Uh, any questions? No. No. All right. No. So I'm just going to pause my screen for a second and pull up our target locations map so we can take a look at that all together. Uh, so just give me one sec. Hello. Hi. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. Um, I had a question. You said stay off the convention center earlier. Um, did you mean um, only like don't skateboard on the convention center or don't even set foot on their property? Like if we were carrying uh, our skateboards in our hand, then would it be okay? Or did you mean don't set even like set foot on the property? Don't don't set foot on the property. We okay. don't have a permit to activate there. Okay. Um, so I pulled up the map, uh, and again, this is a guide, so you guys will be meeting here uh, at the Metro. Um, we are reimbursing for parking, and I laid that out in an email I sent out last night, but if you want to save on gas and save sitting in traffic, take the Metro there. Since you're meeting at the Metro station, you might as well use public transportation. Um, so we're going to get started um, around this area by the Sheraton, um, and then you can follow this blue line, these blue lines if you want. Um, we've kind of pinpointed all of the major hotels that are in the area. Uh, the JW Marriott, the name isn't coming up on here, but it's right next to the Ritz-Carlton. Um, so you're going to want to stay in this vicinity. Um, I would be very wary of going into LA Live. Um, but if you do, just make sure, um, Melissa and McKenna, and you can jump in here. If you guys do walk into LA Live, uh, I would maybe hold your skateboards because uh, I know that the security there is very strict. Um, but when you're on the streets around the area, you can obviously please be skating. Um, and don't, you know, if you approach a people, you know, it's not like you guys are going to be just skating by people and, you know, throwing postcards in their faces. We want you guys to have a meaningful interaction with consumers. Um, so feel free to stop, chat with them, hand out the postcards, you know, use all the knowledge that you've gotten from reviewing um, that great deck that they put together um, and just, you know, meaningfully interact with people as opposed to just, you know, handing them a postcard and, and walking away. Um, that's how we're going to kind of make an impression on people, and that's how people are going to remember Pivot and then go home and watch. Like, um, like we'll go up to them and be like, hey, have you heard about our new our new channel, Pivot? And just, exactly. just take it and stuff like that? Okay. Yep, yep. Awesome. Um, any questions? No, we're good. All right. No questions. Perfect. Um, so you all have Melissa and McKenna's phone numbers, and Melissa and McKenna will make sure the primary uh, person that you'll be contacting uh, is our team lead, um, Manny, uh, and then our food truck lead is Bridget. Um, we'll make sure they have your information saved and then vice versa, and obviously they'll be sending you some good photos in real time. Um, and Manny and Bridget are the main people in charge of reporting, but everybody else, all the brand ambassadors, if you guys see a great shot and you happen to have your phone on you, um, you know, take a great shot, show it to Manny, and you know, we can we can share those as well. Um, um, obviously, be go ahead. I have a question. Um, as mm -hmm. far as like the the actual brand ambassador team of skateboarders, are we? Mm -hmm one giant group skating together, or are we going to split up in like sub-teams? Um, and Melissa and McKenna, you can speak to this, but I was thinking it might call, you know, it might call more attention if they are in one group as opposed to separating. What do you think? I think maybe if there's ten of you, I think two, two groups, so maybe like you that. can cover more areas at one time. Okay. I mean, I mean, I think you can start out maybe as one whole group and do a couple runs that way, but then eventually maybe branch off into a couple depending on where the traffic is heading. Or, you know, I mean, play, maybe play it by your, let the team leaders, I mean, let us know what you think. If you think you're being more impactful as one whole group as you're starting out, then we're fine with that. But if you think there's a chance maybe to split up into two groups, um, you know, let us know. We'll kind of defer to you on that. 
Okay. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and start out as the whole group if you think that's what's most impactful, and then just let us know from there what you think, if that strategy is working, or should we reevaluate? We'll, um, like I said, we'll kind of defer to you guys on that since you're going to be on site, and we'll have a better idea in real time what's going on with that. I have two questions. So just to reiterate, we are meeting at the 7th Street Metro, um, and then at 8 a.m. we're walking over. Is that right? Uh, we're walking over. Yeah, 8 a.m. you'll start hitting your target locations and start activating. Okay, great. And then okay. um, it says, I just noticed on my notes, it said, it said please wear dark jeans. Um, but is, oh, is that an exception now? Like somebody could wear shorts if they want? Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I, you'll be you, against it. Okay. Or fine. No, I. You, you'll have you'll have those pads on, so if you want to wear shorts, and, and if you guys are fine with shorts, then you can go ahead. Oh, I see. Okay, great. Um, I actually have two questions. Okay, um, so um, as far as, like, um, our perimeter, like, we'll, we'll, where we'll be going, um, I know, like, people will be staying in, like, the Sheraton, obviously, right, in the hotel and coming coming back and forth to the convention mm -hmm. center. So are we going to be by the hotel, too? And like the whole like square block of like a uh, LA Live and the Staples Center and the Convention Center. Yeah, I mean you're going to try to cover as much ground as you can, but but like we said, if there's an area where you see a lot of people congregating, um, you know, you can stay in that area to maximize the exposure. Um, okay. And a lot of this stuff is going to change based on what you encounter on site and. You know, obviously, you've all had experience with guerrilla style execution, so I feel like you know, you'll instinct will tell you and and yeah. and guide the team lead in terms of where you guys should be going. Um, obviously, if you're in an area where there's absolutely nobody walking around, you're going to want to change locations. Um, but we do want to stay in this general vicinity, um, not going on to this property. Okay. And the um, second question was with the uh, pictures. Are we gonna, so we're going to be taking pictures with our phones, and and are we going to be uploading them ourselves, or will we make it happen? Well, the team leads, that's, that's one of their responsibilities, so they will handle most of that. What I was saying, if you guys see a really great shot of uh, people interacting with consumers, of, you know, one of your team members interacting with consumers, um, then go ahead and get a shot of that, uh, and then uh, give it to Manny, and Manny will uh, look at it and make sure it's it's a great photo, and send it over to Melissa and McKenna. Any other questions? I was wondering about what color the shirts were, so I knew what color jacket I could wear underneath or long sleeve. They're going to be black, so I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, make sure uh, you do not cover these shirts. Um, if you do feel like you might be cold, I have a feeling it's probably going to get pretty warm. Um, make sure you wear something underneath the shirt. We don't want to cover any branding or anything like that, okay? Thank you. Okay. No problem. Okay. If we, do, um, if, we, if we do take the metro, um, and let's say we want to have like maybe like a, a, ja a jacket with us, we can put it in a backpack and maybe leave that with the food truck. And like, there's no lockers obviously to store our stuff, but could we like leave a backpack at the food truck? Well, you're going to be in a different place than the food truck, and the food truck's only going to be out there on Wednesday. Oh. Um, so let me let me connect with the team lead, and since he's going to be transporting uh, the materials, maybe he's okay with you um, putting I could, I could just putting your car. stuff in the car. Okay, I could just drive a car as well. I guess if you guys are covering parking. Yeah, and just make sure I, I sent out the reimbursement instructions. If you guys do have to pay for parking, make sure you get a receipt. Uh, we can't reimburse without a receipt. <clears throat> and um, take a clear photo of that and send it to us uh, after the event. Oh, okay. So we pay for it there. Okay. Uh, we bring cash to pay for it there and then to hold on to the yep. receipt. Okay. Exactly. Understood. Yeah. Um, so uh, any other questions? 
Um, All right. Pretty good. I have a question. Um, so Melissa and Mackenzie are going to be on site the day of? McKenna, yeah, they're going to be on site. I, I, I don't believe they're going to, you know, be solely be with you guys. Um, Melissa, mm -hmm. McKenna, do you want to kind of talk about that a little bit? I mean, we are, we actually ourselves have a busy schedule because it's a big show for us. So we are booked throughout the day with meetings um, with our affiliates that are attending. So one of us is definitely going to on site when you guys end. We'll be looking most to the team leaders to kind of manage the process on our behalf, given that, you know, we're also there to attend a show and meet with clients. Right. And Got and it. Is so, yeah, so guys, use your team lead as your main point of contact. I will also be available uh, communicating uh, with him. Um, so make sure you not only have his number saved, but also my number as well. Okay, awesome. And then you said the shirts were black. So for the Correct. food chef, the food chef um, people, do we need to wear dark pants, or is that you know whatever? No, you can, doing? you can wear whatever pants you're comfortable in. Okay, I didn't know if it was different for like the, the skateboarders and the food truck people. No, I think it's whatever you're comfortable in. And then I think we actually have some hats that we're going to provide to the people at the food truck to wear that are kind of a part of our brand. Um, so we'll supply those. Other than that, it's, you know, just wear the shirt and whatever pants are comfortable for you. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, I have a question, though. What kind of helmets are you wearing? Can you get the name of them? Uh, I can get you that name. Uh, I'll shoot it over to you, uh, and we can send you guys a picture. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to move on to to a little bit in terms of reporting. We touched on that uh, a little bit, but at the event start time, in terms of checking in, um, the lead will inform me that everybody's there on time, ready to go. Uh, make sure you're there, you know, at least 10, 15 minutes early um, so we can get started exactly at 8 a.m. Uh, if you are stuck in traffic or something like that should happen, make sure you're in communication with your lead um, so we know where everybody is and where we stand. Um, and if we do have to have the pocket shift step in uh, to work the full shift. Um, the team leads are going to be reporting on the number of postcards that have been distributed. So we'll make sure we give you the total amount that each team has, the food truck and the uh, skateboarding team, um, so that they can you know, deduct the number if they have any left. Hopefully it'll be busy enough where we can get them all out there and in the hands of people. Um, so they'll be reporting that number. Uh, and then, like we said, they'll take some photos, great photos that we can share on social media, uh, and then get those over to Melissa and McKenna. Um, and then at the end of the event on Wednesday, I just want all photos to be emailed to me as well so we have them all in one place. Um, on the staff list, I've kind of made that a, a timesheet as well. Um, so the team leads will sign you in, put your in time, your out time, and then you guys are going to sign out each day. Um, and then, as I said, make sure you get parking receipts if you have them. Take a clear photo of that so we can see the date, the amount, uh, and, and email that over to me as well. Um, and then before signing out, super important, make sure that you return your event materials to your team lead. Um, this is on both days. Uh, I just want to make sure we, we know where everything is and it's all in one place so we can easily get it back to you guys uh, on Wednesday morning. And then again, uh, when you're done on Wednesday, just return everything uh, back to the team lead. Um, that's all I have. Are there any additional questions? McKenna, Melissa, did you did you have anything that you wanted to add? No, I think we're good. Perfect. All right, well, make sure you guys study up uh, this weekend. Take a look at those videos uh, in the deck. Um, just so you're super prepared, and it should be a lot of fun. This is going to be a super fun event for you guys to do. We're really excited about the team, 
we're really excited about the, the, the channel, Pivot. It's an awesome thing to be promoting. Um, so thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Melissa and McKenna, uh, for, for joining the call and leading. Uh, and we look forward to next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.